the report and financial matters related to the Music Commission, you'll find at the back of the book, uh, page 226 and 227. <clears throat> I really am pleased on behalf of our commission to be able to report for you that we're not just talking about stuff that we hope eventually to be able to do. Thanks to the reallocation of co-op funds, und undesignated co-op money uh, a few years ago, and some generous donations and help with a grant from the Free Will Baptist Foundation, we've actually began, begun to put into effect some of the things that we could only dream and hope about. FWBWorship.com is an up and running live interactive website for you to suggest to anybody that you know who is leading the services in their local church. We understand that most of our churches don't have music degree people, trained professional level musicians, or anybody that they are able to pay full time to take care of that area. Most of our churches are led in worship by volunteers or maybe part timers. And that's what our music commission has identified. That's who we want to help. Our purpose is to help everyday worship leaders be better. We're not looking to change anybody. We are, we are trying to put resources that are searchable on this website. Your folks can find tutorials, they can find information, they can find suggestions and ideas, and maybe even more importantly, they can contact us and a member of the Music Commission can step in and dialogue with them to answer their questions, tell them suggestions, and such as that. When the 3 for 30 initiative was uh, announced by the executive office, I thought how perfect for us to be able to clearly identify where the Music Commission fits in that, and it's clearly under the train. Uh, we're, no, that sounded funny. Was, I didn't say bus, we're not under the bus. We're under the train section of that, because that's what we want to do. Now, here's an important point for you to understand. We don't consider ourselves experts. We don't consider ourselves, any of us individually, to be the answer guy for any particular issue. But we do have a connection with each other because you have created us as a commission, and we have connections out and about so that collectively we might know who might have the answer for that person in your church that doesn't know where to go or who to ask. Um, so we want to be available and on the screen you see a slide about the latest project. Now the website's not done, it's continually developing with opportunities and we're open to suggestions, we're recruiting other people, it's not just all the Music Commission people contributing to that. But the on-site worship workshops, I can't remember a year that I haven't reported to you to say that I have not said, we're willing to come, we're willing to help. If, if your people would like not the answer guy to come in and tell us how to do everything, but we need some outside eyes. We need somebody that can help us. We know what we want to do. We're just not sure how to take the next step. So if there are people out there that are just looking to improve, you have to settle with the Lord the kind of worship that your church needs and the kind of church, the kind of worship that your church needs to reach into the community God's given you. So we're not coming with a package to dictate any of that, but with the opportunity to hear from you, here's what we would like to see that would help us improve. We just can't figure it out on our own. The Music Commission, in partnership with the Media Commission, are offering on-site worship workshops. Uh, there is an application so we can make this manageable because everybody involved has our own responsibilities to do. So this is going to be on the side from our other time commitments. And we can't come for a Sunday, that's not part of this, without our church 
yeah, no, that's not going to happen. But on a Friday, Saturday, or a Monday, it's up to you. We will work it out with the church that, that is able to do this. We'll work out a music commission member, and hopefully if, if you want a media commission member to come too, if you need, if you're tech people, your sound person, the live streaming, you're having issues, you know, I am not your guy for that. The media commission are the experts on that field and they can provide some actual on-site looking at what you have, is it adequate, do you need something else? That's what we can do in a two-day kind of thing. Now the church has to underwrite part of it. The music commission and the media commission, we are underwriting we have, we have funds now, thankfully, uh, to be able to say, we want to put this to work. We want to put this to work. We're going to invest in six to eight of these events over the course of the next 12 months. We have asked for any interested church that wants to look, go to the website, fwbworship.com slash apply, and you'll find all the detailed information. We really need to hear from you by tomorrow. We've been putting the word out there, but we're going to have to make some decisions and start the process for this first round. And we probably are not going to be able to go to all the people that requested. But any church that actually submits an application, we will at the very least, if we say it's not going to work this year, maybe the next round, even if we can't come, we are committing that we will spend at least two hours with the key people on a Zoom conference that we can participate in and maybe speak in some ways of help. It's practical, it's, it's right where we are. I started to take off my coat and roll up my sleeves because that's what we are as a music commission. We have our sleeves rolled up, we're in the work, and we're thankful for the opportunity to step alongside you and the people in your church that you as a pastor are counting on to help your people connect with God before you ever take the pulpit to open his word. Uh, let us know. We, we want your feedback. We want your help to do the best job that we can do for you. Thank you so much. That's my report.